Hello, Book Foxes! Welcome back to it, the Book Fox Summaries, keeping books simplified for your busy life, one summary at a time. So grab a kappa, get comfy, and join us on this incredible journey. Today we're diving into an American classic, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. This timeless novel has captivated readers for generations with its vivid storytelling and unforgettable characters. Published in 1884, this book is often considered one of the greatest works of American literature. It has been praised for its rich narrative and its profound exploration of complex themes. So let's embark on this journey together. The story follows a young boy named Huck Finn as he escapes from his abusive father and sets off on a new life. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn is a novel that takes us on an epic journey down the Mississippi River, where Huck is joined by Jim, a runaway slave. Together, they navigate the challenges and dangers of their journey, forming a deep bond along the way. The novel explores themes of friendship, freedom, and the moral dilemmas of society. Through Huck and Jim's adventures, Mark Twain delves into the issues of race, identity, and the quest for personal freedom. The book's portrayal of these themes has sparked much discussion and debate, making it a cornerstone of American literature. So join us as we delve into the world of Huck Finn and uncover the layers of this remarkable story. Our story begins where the adventures of Tom Sawyer left off. The mischievous and adventurous Huck Finn, who had been a close companion to Tom, now finds himself at a crossroads. The end of one adventure marks the beginning of another, filled with trials and tribulations that will test his spirit and resolve. Huck Finn, our young protagonist, has been adopted by the widow Douglas, who is determined to civilize him. She envisions a life for Huck that is structured and proper, filled with schooling, manners, and religion. Despite her good intentions, Huck feels suffocated by the constraints of this new life. But Huck's adventurous spirit can't be tamed. He longs for the freedom of the open air, the thrill of the unknown, and the simplicity of his former life. The call of the wild is too strong to ignore, and Huck often finds himself daydreaming about escaping the confines of civilization. Just as Huck begins to adjust to his new life, his estranged father, Pap, returns to town. Pap is a rough, unkempt man with a notorious reputation. He demands Huck's fortune, which Huck had found during his adventures with Tom Sawyer. Pap's return brings a new wave of turmoil into Huck's life. Pap kidnaps Huck and takes him to a secluded cabin in the woods. The cabin is a stark contrast to the widow Douglas's home, devoid of comfort and filled with fear. Huck is trapped, but his resourcefulness and desire for freedom drive him to find a way out. Huck fakes his own death to escape and sets off on an adventure of freedom. He stages an elaborate scene to make it appear as though he has been murdered, ensuring that no one will come looking for him. With nothing but his wits and a small boat, Huck embarks on a journey down the Mississippi River, seeking the liberty he so desperately craves. This marks the beginning of a new chapter in Huck's life, one filled with danger, excitement, and the promise of true freedom. Huck meets Jim, a runaway slave from Miss Watson on Jackson's Island. Despite the societal norms of the time, Huck and Jim form a close bond and decide to travel down the Mississippi River together in search of freedom. Throughout their journey, Huck and Jim encounter a variety of characters and challenges, from con artists like the Duke and the King to the feuding Grangerford and Shepherdson families each encounter tests Huck's moral compass. One of the most significant moments is when Huck decides to help Jim escape, despite believing he'll go to hell for it. This moral decision marks Huck's growth as a character and his rejection of the racist values he's been taught. Eventually, they reach the Phelps farm, where Jim is captured. Huck pretends to be Tom Sawyer to free Jim and Tom upon his arrival, goes along with the elaborate plan. It's revealed later that Jim has been free all along, thanks to Miss Watson's will. In the end, Huck decides to head west, seeking new horizons and the promise of uncharted adventures. His decision to move away from the familiar and venture into the unknown symbolizes his rejection of societal norms and expectations, rejecting the constraints of civilization once more. Huck's journey is not just a physical one but also a metaphorical escape from the rigid structures that society imposes. The rustic town and abandoned buildings he leaves behind represent the old world he is eager to escape. This conclusion emphasizes Huck's desire for freedom and adventure. His spirit is uncontainable, and the open field and river symbolize the boundless opportunities that lie ahead. Huck's story is a testament to the human spirit's yearning for independence and the courage to pursue one's own path. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn is not just a tale of adventure but a profound exploration of the human condition. 
The vintage book cover reminds us of its timeless relevance, but a powerful commentary on society and human nature. Through the interactions of its characters, the novel delves into issues of race, identity, and morality, reflecting the complexities of the 19th century American South. Mark Twain uses humor and satire to address serious themes, skillfully weaving them into the narrative. His writing, whether with a quill or typewriter, captures the essence of the era while challenging its injustices, making it a thought-provoking read. As we turn the pages, we are invited to reflect on our own values and the society we live in. The cozy setting of reading a classic book underscores the enduring comfort and challenge that Twain's work provides. So why should you read this book? It's a timeless exploration of friendship, morality, and the quest for freedom. Plus, it's an engaging and entertaining story that's hard to put down. Before we go, we ask for your help. Please subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comments what book you'd like us to cover next. Hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. See you next time.